Hi everyone, it is I, Heather, and today we are going to continue working on my Tempest Gothi. Yesterday I posted a video that showed you how to do the stained glass uh, or spooky kind of window coloring, which is just basically the first layer to the background. Right now I want to go ahead and focus in on the uh, main part of the image which is my Tempest uh, Gothia of the Crypt. And we want to work on the wings. And I'm going to be doing this in shades of blue and maybe adding a little bit of green inside there. But I want to start off from light to dark. And I'm just going to be going ahead and using my Black Widow pencils, one of my favorites. I will be combining a few of the sets uh, in between the Monarch and the scorpion, the spider, and the cobra with various shades of blue. And I just want to go ahead and this is uh, the sky from the monarch. I'm just going to go ahead and lay in the lightest color closest to the bottom of the inner wings. Because I'm going to have this like grad, uh, gradient look from dark to light. I'm going to go ahead and get the wing that's back here. Because what I want to do is have the effect that these wings are actually glowing. As always, if you're unsure with what color you're going to be using uh, and you want to try it out, have a scratch piece of paper and just go ahead and give it a go there and make sure it's the color that you want to use before you jump on in and commit to something on your actual piece. Now, before I go any further, we do have a couple light sources. We have one down here on this candle, uh, sitting on this skull, and another one here. This is going to be the one that will be affecting the outer part of this wing, and this candle here will be affecting just a little bit on the outskirts of this wing. So I want to keep our light sources in mind. Look at that. I want to go ahead and go up to the next color. And I'm really tossed between the two. I have uh, from the Monarch set, the Denim, and from the Scorpion set, uh, Blue Heaven. So I'm going to go ahead and try these out on paper first. These are really close in color, really, really close. But I'm going to say I'm going to go with the Blue Heaven from the Scorpion pencil set. And I'm going to lightly apply this, blending down into that color I already had. I'm not going all the way down to that bottom part. I'm working around her hair here. like so. Putting a nice even pressure of color down on the paper. I am working on Canson's mixed media paper. That is the uh, paper that I did the original image on, which I am working on. It does have a little bit of tooth in the paper. It's not as, as smooth as if you're using, you know, cold press or Bristol or so forth like that. I want to come back and I want to darken this layer up a little bit. It's always easier to start out lighter to dark. I know a lot of colorists and artists go dark to light. It's a personal preference. Sometimes I will go dark to light. 
but I rather go light to dark for most cases in case I need to erase something or to change something and you can alter it then it's always easier to go light to dark than it is dark to light. And there we go, and you can already see that the wings are already starting to glow because of that first initial light color of blue I had laid down. And it may take a couple go-overs just to get to the right amount of pigment you want to lay down there, that right darkness. Like so. And I'm going to kick it up a notch. Oh, let me see what I have here. Another one from the Scorpion set, which is nice. This is a purple. Let me see what other one I pulled out. Ooh, Starry Night. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and take those last two. The uh, Blue Horizon and the Starry Night. Uh, the, the Blue Horizon is from the Scorpion set. The Starry Night is from the spider set. I'm going to go all the way up to the top with this on this darker wing. Laying down with a medium pressure. I'm going to come down a little bit into that other blue, so it's got a nice graduated blend like so. And I am going to come down, since this wing is wrapping around a little bit, I am going to come down with a little harder pressure here and get like a nice shadow here going. Subtle. like so. And bring over my paper here so my hand does not pick up any of the pigment. These are wax-based pencils. Highly pigmented and one of my favorite to color with. They, they apply uh, pigment down really, really nice and easy. Like so. spread this out a little bit more so it's not such a straight line here. I want this blue to fade down a little more like so. And you can see how these wings are already starting to really, really, really glow. I'm going to come in with the next darkest color and that is from the spider set, like I said, Starry Night. And I'm going to apply a little bit of this, darkening this up as we go, applying layer by layer. Another good thing about Black Widow pencils is you can apply quite a few layers before there's really a waxy buildup, which is something that I like. I like to play with my colors, so that's really important to me. If you haven't tried the Black Widow pencils, I do encourage you to do so. Like I said, there is a few sets out. Uh, we have the uh, Spider, uh, Cobra, Scorpion, and then the uh, Light Skin and Dark Skin set, which are fabulous. All of them are fabulous. And then, of course, the Monarch set. 
Uh, they do supposedly have a new set coming out sometime this October, which is exciting news. Curious to see what colors will be in that set and what the name of the set is going to be. I need to bring down, go back to one of my earlier blues that I used. That's that blue heaven. I'm going to bring this down a bit. Darkening that up. And each time I apply a layer, it's blending it out better and better. Like I said, on the paper that I'm using, that Canson's, you are going to see a bit of the tooth. You could go ahead and use like uh, Gamsol to blend it out. I do have a uh, blender that I will be doing that. But you want to kind of save your blender sticks and, and so forth to blend it out there when you're pretty much set with what you, you're done coloring that area. Because that's kind of a finishing step. One of your last steps to do is blending it out unless you're going to use the Gamsol. And I'm going to go back to my original blue, which is that sky. I'm going to apply a little more pressure closer up to that gradient, blending it on in and leaving that area down below as light as I possibly can. See, so this area is really picking up that nice glow. Like so forth. And then when you go ahead and wipe, should you have any like a little bit of uh, pigment dust or crumbles? I always use a mop brush. Looks like a giant blush brush for us girls. And just kind of dust it off. I'd rather do this with the brush instead of wiping it off so you don't get that, that pigment dust carried on to the other piece of your paper, which is really, really important not to do. I really like how this went down with color, so I'm going to go ahead and use my blender stick. This is actually from Coran Dash. I love this get it here because I'm really happy right now with the way everything went down and I'm just applying this with light circular motions and I'll blend this all out because like I said I'm really pleased with how this laid down and it's just going to smooth everything out Remember, basically a blender stick is applying nothing more than wax on top of wax. The Black Widow pencils are wax pencils. So that's why you want to kind of save it to the last part of that area. It's not like you can't apply any more layers once you have the blender stick. It's just a little harder. Unless you were to put like a fix stiff over it. Get my mop stick. Or my mop brush, so used to sitting there brushing it off, and I'm trying to tell you don't do that just in case. And I am going to come back with that sky a little bit. And come back in. And blend it out like so. Okay, so we know we have a candle flame out there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to my Lemonade, one of my favorite colors from the Spider set, and I'm going to just go ahead and add a little bit of this yellow, real, real light on the outside of this wing. Just enough to give it a glow. This wing, like I said, is curving around, so you need to make sure that in your drawing, you don't want your coloring or your drawing to be, you know, uh, uh, two-dimensional. You want to give it this kind of 3D look. And you do that by playing with the light and dark shadows. I go into a lot more in depth about light sources and all this on my Patreon page, and I encourage you to uh, come join me, tiers two and three. They have uh, plenty of real-time tutorials.
teaching you all sorts of various things like that. And the link will be down in my description below. Okay, so now we have our light source. And I wanna come back real quick. And I'm back to my Monarch uh, set. This is Passion. And I wanna add just a little hint of this. Like so. Just to kinda, just give it a little something extra. And you can see with that blue, how it, once you add this, this type of green to it, look at that, it's almost got like a neonish glow to it, which is perfect. Don't wanna do it all over, just a little hint here or there, it just adds a little mystery to those wings. Just like that. Even her window or her even her wings are looking like a stained glass window. It's got a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous glow. I want to go ahead and take my darker blue. This is the blue horizon. And I want to go ahead and real light apply this to the wing. This is further in away from that glow. Really not too worried about covering up those spots because I'll be doing something toward the end of coloring this piece with those spots. So I'm not too worried about if I cover it or not. Get my paper over here. And you can see I'm, I'm barely touching the paper with this. I have such a very light touch anyway, and that's exactly how I want my wings to uh, be. I'm going to grab that grape that we had. Oh, this is Starry Night. Let me find my grape pencil here. You know what? No, I think I'm going to go. Let me see the deep purple here. I'm going to go with the deep purple a little bit. Because I have this dark blue here and here, I want to break it up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of this purple for the outer wing, just at the top. Like I said, I'm not worried about the spots, and I'm not worried about the those like bone-like things to her wings. That'll come later. We're just doing... The, the fleshy, wingy part of her wings. Go back in with that blue. Bring it down. like so. You don't want it to basically match the inside of the wings. These are the outside of the wings, so I want them to be a little different. And this is where you take your time and you start building up these layers like I'm talking about. down in this corner. I 
And I said, this is going to be a mixed media piece. So we're going to do various pieces and stages and probably not complete each layer like we didn't, you know, add the spider webs in yet on the windows or, or highlight the cracks uh, from yesterday's tutorial. And I'm not going to finish the wings because till I get the rest of the piece done, then we'll come back with a different type of media and uh, finish those. Everything comes all in good time, my pretty. All in good time. Gonna go ahead and grab the denim. One that was really close to that. As we get close to this light here, you really want that lighter. And when you have the light source, you want to come in a little bit around that light source. But, you know, I mean, I'm adding blue and we already laid down yellow. And if you add blue and yellow together, it's going to make a green. I really don't want to make too much of a green onto these wings. Not right now. Okay. I'm looking for another particular color, one of my favorites. Let me see. And that's watermelon in the Black Widow set. It's got such a dynamic kind of like pinky purple quality to it. And uh, that and Ladybug really, and they blend I mean, it's just like a match made in heaven with anything. Okay, I found my watermelon. And you can see this is really a beautiful color. I want to go back in a little bit here on this wing. And a little bit down onto this blue. Now, adding this kind of pinkish color which is kind of a red base to the wing on that blue I'm actually creating a different type of purple like so don't want a lot of it just enough now I'm not worried about adding a little bit of this watermelon into that yellow it'll create kind of like this pinkish glowing orange, which is just fine. Just so subtle. Now for those of you who are drawing and want to use your colored pencils and color your image, always make sure once you have your image, if you're going to ink it in like I have, uh, which this is in one of my coloring books, you want to make sure that all your pencil, all your e pencils have been thoroughly erased before you go ahead and add that, add any color to your image. Now I have Zephyr Blue, which is really, really a dark blue, and I'm going to come in here. And I'm going to have to go to my Midnight, which is from one of my, or from the Black Widow Dark Skin set, and set this off. But you can see now all the different colors that I've applied now coming over with this darker blue. Check that out. How many different glorious shades we have in this wing. I said, don't ever be afraid to experiment with color and to build up the various layers. That's why you have your scratch sheet of paper on the side. I'm gonna come down a little bit more with this Zephyr Blue into that wing. Now see how we have that back wing that's coming around is a lot darker than the light wing or the inside of the wing and it's really standing out 
Now, once we get like the bone pieces of the wing that are coming down, holding the uh, fleshy part together, once we get that done, then these wings will really just pop and come to life. We're gonna save that for another day, because like I said, I'm gonna be using a different media to it. Here we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and darken up this wing here too. This wing tip, bring it on down. I am adding medium pressure, like so. Now, if you don't have this image, which is available in my online Color of Love shop, uh, the link is down in the uh, description below. Uh, you can get this image to color along with me from there. Or you can apply this technique to any winged image or anything like that if you have clothing or or butterfly wings or what have you. I'm just here to teach you techniques. Gonna add a little bit more of this watermelon here. Get it down there. A little bit here on this side around that bone so we create that kind of shadow. Okay, and I'm going to get my one of what I consider one of my Black Widow staples, and that is that midnight blue, like I was talking about from that dark skin set. And I mean this this color is just it's one of these things that you just, I mean, you can tell I've used it quite a bit. This blends in with basically every color. It almost, it's so dark, it almost looks like it's black. And I'm going to come on in on the very top of this wing. And I applied more pressure up here, and as I come down... You want to go ahead and have it lighter and lighter. I'm going to bring it down around the side of this bone to create that shadow, like so. Just a little bit of that here. And then the same on this side. Remember, it doesn't have to be the same exact uh, place I laid it here because the wings are different. They're similar, but different, and our lighting source is different, so that's going to change things up. And then once again, go up to that very top of that wing on that outer part and bring this down. like so. Okay, and now I'm gonna get my full blender mm -hmm. stick once again. And I'm going to blend this out. Very little pressure when I'm using this on the blender stick. It does not require a lot, but it sure does the job. Get my mop brush, like so, and come over here and blend this out. Just like that. Purdy, purdy, purdy. And I'm going to get, pardon the pencil sharpener here, 
if I can turn my dial here. One of my all-time staples, and you're going to hear me say this a lot uh, through my coloring tutorials, is the Coran Dash White. And I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of white on the bottom of those wings on top of that blender. just to brighten it up a notch. I do like whites in some of the sets, but there's nothing like the Crandash white. Like that. So we have some pretty dynamic um, bat-like wings coming into play here. And I need to bring down that blue a little bit. It's a little, not as graduated as I want there. And that is my 14 year old Shih Tzu Bellarina. It never fails whenever I'm doing tutorials. There she is, snoring. There we go. And get that blender out like so. And now we have some really, really beautiful, beautiful wings into play. I will be coming back, darkening this area here behind that stained glass window. And, but we'll do that at a later time. Um, but for now, we've created some really interesting bat light wings. Um, can't wait to see what yours uh, looks like. If you have any questions, always leave me a question down in the comment uh, section. I'll get back with you as soon as I can. We'll be moving on to um, her hair and horns and the rest of her body in the next tutorial. All for now. Thanks for joining me. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give it a couple thumbs up, two thumbs up. Thank you. Till next time. Bye-bye.